Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mushoku Tensei episode number 4. Alright, the previous episode we met a new character that is Sylphiet and there was a little bit of misunderstanding going on uh, but still like <clears throat> it was like a what can I say new uh, a friend and uh, someone that uh, like <clears throat> Rudy can call a childhood friend that he like always wanted. So yeah, obviously he's a child now. So technically, Silfit is a childhood friend. So yeah, even though he is like a thirty-year-old man in like his um like in his mind, but still. So yeah, like Rudy is getting to live uh his life properly, which he was unable to do so in uh his real world, and he's also like uh, conquering her his trauma and uh like <clears throat> like living life. So good for him, and uh, he is like uh, doing it properly this time he is like doing it so that he won't make the same mistakes that he made in like his previous world so yeah anyways guys so uh, this is episode number four of mushoku tensei so without further ado let's get started and let's see what rudy does this episode <laughs> so all right <clears throat> i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Hmm? Oh, is is she having? Oh yeah, <laughs> they were. <laughs> no wonder, like each and every day. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Wait, what? Oh, 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 my God, what the? Wait, well, obviously, what the hell? Oh, um, uh, yeah, and the timing as well. Like, what the hell is this timing? <clears throat> oh boy. Okay, I was really not expecting that. Like suddenly. Like, I'm still not sure about how they take these kind of things in this world. Like, if it was here, like, they would, like, it would, like, break their whole family. If something like this happened, like, <clears throat> in the modern world, in this world. like just think about the mom like she was so happy and suddenly something like this oh boy What's with this music in the like in the opening? What the hell? Oh my god! Ah. Uh. Yeah. Damn, like... Uh, yeah, you keep quiet now, like, this is not... Yeah, like, this is something...
yeah like she, like he or she will be like left without anyone and they'll have to like go from one place to another i uh, think like looking for job and stuff yeah like and she's alone in that whole thing that's why she is also conflicted yeah He kept us his secret. <laughs> okay. Holy relic, what? <sighs> but wh how? What will he do? Like, oh, he's going to play on the innocence. What? What? Wait, is he lying? Wait, is it really true? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh wait what oh he is lying that means <laughs> okay okay this kind of makes it his fault oh yeah uh, okay so will that help in this case okay okay all right he uh, all right that so that's how he's going to go All right. <laughs> okay, thank God. Yeah, like <laughs> All right, okay, that went um pretty well not for paul but for the others and he deserves it rightfully so oh wait Uh oh 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 my god hmm okay so so she knew everything like she did she like she knew that Paul was speaking of something Oh boy. Well, yeah, she, okay, she knew it. Yeah, obviously, by like pinning the blame on Paul, it will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously, if you see something like this. 
like <laughs> like not your fault not your fault like it's understandable Okay, so this kind of, yeah, like she's going to be like loyal. F oh. Wow, th that was quick. Damn, the time is moving so fast in this anime. Like, I'm liking that. Like, this is quite rare in anime. What Norn and I, what was the name? Aisha. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, is that so? Wait, what? Huh? Oh my god, this guy is... Yeah, yeah kind of. But still, like, yeah, and he is like, I doubt like, he is a, like a good guy from the heart, even though he's a scum, and that as well, like he's strong. Oh, <laughs> hmm. Um, no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's forty now. Cool. Oh. Oh yeah, he has kind of like a complex about school, like a trauma, kind of a trauma. Oh, elder kids. Oh no, and that's. Oh, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, Paul? <laughs> okay. Yeah, she is pretty, like... <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 
Okay, he can like go to that school and like train in swordsmanship. Hmm. Well, he's the first friend she had, so. <laughs> yeah, that that's true. <laughs> what? What the hell? <laughs> Oh, wait, Roxy? Yeah. Shirone Kingdom. Oh, Princess Tutor. <laughs> um this is the prince all right king class wow did he i don't think so Oh my god, the prince is... Okay. Yeah, like, he is not improving. Like, that's one thing. Okay, so he needs someone, like, better than him. So that he can train. Oh my god, how did you know? Okay, this will kind of like make uh, him a bit competitive. Like thinking that, yeah, I also need to improve. <laughs> yeah his mom will be extremely happy i'm sh i think Oh. Okay, okay. All right. Is it like too costly? What? Okay. Oh. Okay, yeah, he is pretty young. And the money. Okay, what? Well, he's going to do it himself. Yeah. Like, if you won't help me, then I'll do it. Yeah. Okay, good job.
He is pretty good at arguments, as he said in the previous episode. All right. But will Sylvie agree, or is, will their, his, her parents agree? Like, that's the question. Who is this? Is it Ro No, Roxy won't be here. Who the? Elaine. What the? Oh, <coughs> damn! Oh my! <laughs> okay, his her name is G Gilane. Norn. <laughs> what? Um, what? Okay, she's going to train him or something. He's still not getting like what the actual hell is happening. Uh. Wait, what? Um, oh, oh, is there some kind of like test he's like giving Rudy? Oh, damn, he can use each and everything like the magic. Oh. Damn! Ah! Hmm. Wait, did he like make him unconscious? W was that what he was trying to do? Yeah, like he. Knocked him out and mm. Okay, so uh, training, I'm guessing. Oh, all right. Okay, wow, that that was a good episode, and that was really something that I was uh, I was not expecting. Uh, f first of all, the whole thing with uh, the maid, I cannot remember her name, but the whole thing with the maid, that that is something which, uh, like, not in my wildest dream did I ever expect and like the whole backstory as well like um like what she when she like said uh the whole thing ab uh, about herself to rudy like uh like they were like in a dojo and paul like assaulted her and uh like ran away after that like like i don't know what to actually say about paul like i like as Rudy said, like like I'm at the same uh, like conclusion as him. Like Paul is a scum, but he is a uh, like good-hearted scum, and like I think that is the main thing, especially like in a like setting like this, like in this world. Uh, I'm not sure what actual models they have. Like if something like this happened in our world, that would be the like the end of like whatever like of the family and everything like something like that happened i'm sure in a lot of like families because that's something that is unacceptable in our world according to our morals our like uh, rules okay that's the end
but obviously like in ancient times and like in medieval times as well in like different worlds there are different other like a lot of other rules so i'm not sure what actual rule they have is this something that is uh, obviously like his like wife was extremely pissed at whatever happened but she was uh, ready to compromise and that's the thing that i'm trying to say like in this world a lot of people would like never compromise and that would have been the end of it so like uh, i'm thinking about if like this is something like obviously in the medieval time the like setting of this world so if it is something like uh, like that in this world or not so that is one thing and another thing is like um oh i kind of like went off like on a tangent what i was trying to say like uh, like paul is like as i said a scum but a good hearted scum and uh, obviously like he like he's a good guy in uh, like in like in one word he's a good guy like he did some stuff which is not acceptable but at least he like admitted it and, and did not like try to weasel out of it and uh, like was ready for whatever punishment that he was supposed to get and uh, I have to say that uh, there was quick thinking on Rudy's part because obviously like he like he like like extremely like he, intelligently he handled the whole situation because the situation was like this like she was a maid so obviously if the fault like was on her like if she, obviously the fault was kind of hers as she as she said that she she kind of like um like seduced him but uh, obviously like uh because of that like if that was like brought to light obviously they would be like forced to make her leave the place but Rudy took account of that situation he like did some quick like uh, decision making proper decision making and turned the whole thing around by like pinning the blame on Paul so if the prob fault lies with Paul obviously like he like becomes the instigator of that thing even though uh, that is not true but still it will like, like then like obviously uh, Rudy's mom would be, be able to come to a compromise and let uh, the maid stay in their like place and uh, I cannot remember the name it is really like I, I remember Paul's name like that's an easy name to remember obviously uh, I think the mom's name was Zenith wasn't it um, I have to like remember keep like start remembering the name and I'm not sure what the maid's name is I cannot remember I'll have to check that out again anyways so yeah like Rudy took control of the whole situation and he really like uh, did a good job and uh, understood what that situation needed what it needed to like calm the situation down and like acted accordingly so he saved them you know like and that's also the reason why like uh, the maid became like forever grateful to, uh, for, to him because um, like basically he saved their life like obviously like if somehow like if they had to leave the house like imagining what like they'll have to do like for example she herself would be unable to uh, take jobs or anything when she becomes like uh, when when like the time comes when like it's almost like eight or like seven or eight weeks uh, no uh, seven or eight months and uh, when like it's almost the time to give birth she obviously won't be able to do the jobs earn her livelihood uh, uh, in her condition so what will she do then like I doubt she has any kind of uh, relatives or any kind of acquaintances I'm not sure or even if she has them like she is obviously uh, I don't know is not in a position to ask help from them obviously because she is like uh, working like this so in her uh, like I think like he is alone so obviously it will be extremely difficult and even after like she gives birth she has to like handle the whole like her own child and uh, the jobs everything in like a different in a like completely different place where like no one knows uh, who she is she doesn't know anyone and it will be a bad situation like uh, like 
even if like their like the child grows up it will be in a very harsh environment and that will not be good at all and uh like so in a in a way ruby really helped them like he changed her future uh her and her child's future with the one thing that he did in this episode and i have to say that's like a really big accomplishment in an age like this especially so yeah like he did not uh, slay any demon lord he did not uh, like uh, save any kind of like like do anything like that like in that an extent but he saved a single woman's life uh, as not a single woman single woman and her child's life and i think like that is in no way uh, inferior to anything that others like the people like heroes and all like everyone does and that's a extremely like um a good accomplishment that he did that, that he got and yeah like like that's respect and um obviously like the thing that paul did here shows his um what can i say um uh, uh i cannot find the right word to actually like describe him like the thing that paul did that is extremely um, irresponsible yeah irresponsible like obviously he is strong he is a good guy but the thing he did was like so irresponsible that i have to say i am a little bit disappointed like like he like okay you did it i can understand like after doing it he was just sitting down and like doing nothing he could have at least like stood up went there and whatever rudy said he could have said it himself then couldn't wouldn't if if he did that like he would have gotten a little redeeming feature but the thing that he did like he did nothing he just like sat down and like was just uh like he didn't say anything about the whole situation he tried to do but obviously uh like his wife was extremely angry at that but still he should have like went there and um like did something to help her because obviously the one who f like even though he is not in the wrong here the maid herself did this and it is kind of her fault still like he must understand that he is the master of this house but that girl is like a maid a simple maid if something like like this happens obviously he like if she is unable to stand up for herself he will be like she will be uh, like she could not stay here she would have to like leave the house and that would be like extremely bad thing in, in this situation so like he should have understood that and like went there like stood in front of his, her wife like like begged her for forgiveness or whatever and said sorry apologized and say that everything is my fault please don't like and blame her and please don't like let her go like in this situation he should have done that instead he did nothing he just stood, like sit sat there and like rudy has to had to do something just imagine if rudy was a normal kid if he was not this for 30 year old guy in like rudy's body what would have happened like just imagine so like that is the reason why i'm saying like he is extremely irresponsible and like uh, like paul was in a really high um, like uh like the respect meter for paul was for in my book was quite high but due to like today's episode it kind of like went down a little bit like i'm not saying he's a bad guy but he is an like as he's as rudy said he is not a good like kind of a scum <laughs> and he's kind of uh like uh what can i say like irresponsible and like kind of dumb as well so yeah like if you like did something wrong you should like definitely go and take responsibility for it which he obviously did not do in this episode and like, i'm kind of disappointed because of that on him like he did it okay like uh, obviously like mistakes can happen but he should like go and uh like 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 own up for his own mistakes which he did not do and that's the reason why i'm disappointed not because he like made a mistake that's not the reason i'm dis disappointed I'm disappointed because he did not uh, go and uh, like own up to his mistakes. <sighs> okay, uh, okay, that's enough about the whole Paul situation, and <clears throat> that. And uh, then like uh, Rudy gets this like uh, letter from uh, Roxy, and Roxy uh, like 
obviously like roxy herself was a little bit um discouraged when she saw like uh, rudy doing this kind of like magics uh, magic and without any incantations like he he was so strong and also that's the reason why like uh, roxy decided to go and like uh, go and like look at the world to the world because she kind of felt uh, that yeah she was lacking in a few things uh, so she went outside she toured the world for two years and like learned the king class uh, uh, magic uh, incantation or whatever and magic spell but rudy is stuck in this village where there is no one who is like above him and obviously that will make your like her him progress less and less and ultimately stop when he reaches that threshold so he needs to go outside go to a place where there will be a lot of people who are better than him that's the only way the way he can improve so yeah and one thing that i really liked uh, in this uh, like anime is like like in a lot of isekais we usually see a main character so op that he is way above others way above and he like does this kind of like new magic tricks and stuff and like just like cleans the slate with everyone cleans the floor with everyone but like unusually he keeps like uh like improving more and more even though there is like no one to challenge him enough he his like power keeps increasing more and more and more and more and he keeps becoming more op without any reason which this anime did not go in which way it did not it really did not go like it kind of like made this like uh like rudy a really powerful person uh and like in his childhood but as soon as he like grew up and he him being unable to find any like worthy opponents his like growth stopped which is something that is that usually happens and which a lot of isekais do not incorporate in their story they like keep adding more power to that uh, like one main character like keep adding more power without any reason and uh, like that's one thing that uh, like uh, mushoku tensei did and correctly and i'm really happy that this is not like one of those isekais where the main characters gain in, like become extremely op and just like uh <laughs> like like uh, like one shots everyone like uh, obviously this is not something like that and obviously like uh, rudy was uh, strong when he was like a child obviously like uh, comparing him to other children even now he is a lot stronger than other children but he's not like a god like he's not a god like he not, do not, not uh, like does uh, he can do sacred uh, like sacred magic spells like that's the threshold he has now and he has not increased and obviously there are a lot more like stronger magic spells like uh, as they said the like king magic spell and what else was, was there some kind of a divine magic spell or something i'm not sure but something along those lines so there is a lot more to improve and i think that he will again start improving when he meets someone who is even stronger than him and which will obviously be at the school i'm guessing uh at, at the, what was that uh, ranoa magical academy or something which where i'm sure that like they he will go one day but now uh, like obviously like now he is not going to that academy he is most probably going to train with uh the lady the beast lady and damn that beast lady oh <laughs> i have to say like um yeah like her um character design is extremely um extremely uh like <laughs> like up like for my taste like uh, like yeah like uh, that's something that i really <laughs> okay uh, i'm gonna stop <laughs> okay what was her name uh, let me just gilane uh, but uh what's the spelling g-h-i-s-l-a-i-n-e oh s is silent here so gilane these names are extremely difficult and I doubt I can remember her name in the next episode. I'll have to like see again. All right. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. So I'm guessing she is the person who is most probably even stronger than Paul at swordsmanship. She looks like it. Like she looks extremely strong. And uh, like I'm guessing Paul like 
is letting her like train Rudy most probably so and he had to obviously like force Rudy out because obviously he won't go himself because of Sylvie uh, Sylphiet and because of her his fondness for Sylphiet and uh, like obviously because like in the brief like uh, one of the like uh, in the previous like uh, instance he like Sylphiet was crying and everything and said that don't go and stuff like that so Rudy won't like uh, like won't go to train so that's why I think uh, Paul kind of like knocked him out so that he is forced to go <laughs> yeah and another thing I have to say here is that the time like the time is going extremely fast which I am really like liking this setting because you do not see these type of shows like uh, i think this is the first show that i have seen which like handles time like this like so quickly it is going and i'm really glad because and uh, like a lot of shows it is just like yeah he is like a kid and he will always be a kid and like even if like it it it, it, it goes extremely slowly and we are like for example in one or two seasons we'll see him grow up something like that but in this like show it's kind of like in one or two episodes he's growing up like each episode is like one or two years so that is something that i'm really liking and um which is quite rare as well that's why i'm really liking it so yeah and yeah i have to say like um this is extremely unique like i like uh, like everyone said uh, like in the comments section and everything that and the youtube comments and all that this is like one uh, show which is uh, which you should not sleep on which is quite extremely unique it's the, like the godfather of isekai it's one of the best and uh, like i can understand it now like why they were saying everything like each and everything is so unique and so excuse me good that yeah like th this is like a one of a kind show and i am really enjoying it this is something extremely different and i'm happy that it is different so yeah all right guys so that was it that was this episode this was another amazing episode i loved it and i'm sure like we'll get more episodes like this so yeah guys if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and comment down below anything you want to say or anything uh, anything about this episode or anything in general I'll be sure to check them out. So, yeah, guys, um, I'll be back with another Mushoku Tensei episode next week, same time. So, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.